I will never repeat after Satan. Did you hear what I said? I will never repeat after Satan. He can say anything he says, but you will not get a second voice. Even in parliament, when they pass a policy, they say who is there to second that policy? It cannot be passed into law until there is a secondment. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. If you don't take the word of God serious in your life, I give you a guarantee that eventually you will fail. You will not be able to function like Christ. You will speak, but not like God. You will move, but not like God. You will act, but not like God. You see, the fruit of the Spirit help you to be like Christ. The gifts of the Spirit help you to act like Christ. Whether it's the gift of wisdom, whether it's the gift of whatever, together they help you to act like Christ. Are we together? You think like Christ, you act like Christ. But for most people, we have focused, like I said earlier on, on gifts and all of that without focusing on the nature of Christ. But that when you get the issue of the nature of Christ, you allow the Holy Spirit to do that inner work, producing the character of the Spirit. The next assignment is that you must respect the Word of God. The beautiful thing about the Word of God is that it is the tool that builds both the image and the likeness. Same word. So as you submit yourself to the Word of God, watch this now, that which is locked up within you, potentially, in the new birth experience now begins to find expression i don't know how people live without respecting the word of god they don't study it they don't care about it and yet they want to get god's result you can never get god's result until you follow god's strategies did you hear what i said you can never get god's result until you follow god's strategy so apostle I want to prosper. The Bible says I should prosper. You have various options. One of it is to open up the word of God and find out how did God design his creation to prosper. Follow it diligently and you will arrive at God's results. Are we together? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. I give you an instance. I have drummed it here in Koinonia. Let's try it again for one last time tonight. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. The power of words. It says, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. How many believers know that if you are to function like God, your speaking must be seen as a vital component to your life? And your destiny and yet many people do not speak i'm not talking of just jumping and shouting rubbish i'm talking of creating your life with intelligence knowing that god said for him to see so you must say for you to see no weapon fashioned against me will prosper in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare my september must be better than my august my october must be better than my september my november better than october december better than november what is the basis for that speaking that the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter more and more unto the perfect day are you learning this now it is true the bible says he keepeth his bones and none is lost so you prophesy in the name of jesus as i saw john my body is healthy my organs are healthy my body rejects any virus rejects anything that is not of god this is true if you do not learn to function like this you are not functioning like god surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of the lord they will scatter they come against me in one way and they flee in seven ways Hallelujah. I'm showing you how to function like God. When you understand the word of God, now you can engage these three dimensions. One of them is speaking. Speaking. The talking spirit produce other talking spirits who design their lives with the power of words.
the power of words. I will never stop speaking God's word over my life. I will never stop speaking God's word over you. I will never stop speaking God's word over koinonia. I will never stop speaking God's word over my destiny. Someone say, I will speak. Say, I will declare. Say, I will decree. One more time, say, I will speak. Say, I will declare. Say, I will decree. Never allow a day pass without you making declarations of God's word. But here's the question. If you have not hidden that word in your heart, you will have no vocabulary, spiritual vocabulary. The problem with many believers is not that they do not want to speak, is that they are bankrupt of the scriptures. They have not hidden their, the scripture enough to declare it. You want to function like Christ? Get on the project of transferring the word of God from the pages of this book into your spirit, man. That's what Jesus did. For 18 years, he invested his time with the word of God. And in three years, he lived an invincible life, demonstrated dominion, and finished the plan of redemption. In the name of Jesus, Koinonia goes from glory to glory. The Bible says, I am the children that the Lord has given me. We are for signs and we are for wonders in Israel. Koinonia will never go up and come down. That epileptic destiny is not part of our heritage. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that the Lord multiplies me. I will not be small. He glorifies me. You see that now? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid of? The Bible says, whatsoever you do it, prosper. You lay your hands in the morning before you go to the office. Don't think you are being childish. I'm showing you how God functions. In the name of Jesus, every document I lay my hands upon in the office will not bring me trouble. I will not sign anything that will lead to the dismissal of my job. You lay your hands on your mind. I have the mind of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I have the mind of Christ. I decree and declare i'm performing optimally in an extraordinary dimension the spirit of grace is at work in me you quote the scripture like elihu that there is a spirit in joshua selman and the inspiration of the almighty makes me of understanding ah my heart is indicting a good matter yeah i speak of excellent things as a preacher you will tell yourself my tongue is the pen of a ready writer that when i open my mouth i'm not speaking gibberish i'm writing and rewriting and deleting and rewriting over the destinies of men. I will call on one man and a nation will respond. You believe that? Listen, every time God had a need, there was provision. Every time Jesus had a need, there was provision. He said, go to the street whose roads divide. You will find a coast there that no man had written on. There is something for you that no one has touched. If you don't know how to call it, you can remain where you are. Are we together? Greater light. How to function like Christ. Let me tell you the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Walk with the simplicity of this truth and watch what happens in your life. You know how the spirit of depression functions? It brings you to a point of silence. Medical science will tell you, when you say a depressed person is not a noisy person, he keeps quiet. Then he takes a deep breath. Ah, so my life, hmm, not me. I get up in the morning, this is the day the Lord made. Not the Lord and Satan. This is the day the Lord made. He considered my interest in making that day. I rejoice and I am glad in it. Hallelujah. Even when you are going through trouble and negative circumstances, what does the word of God say? Count it all joy, my brethren, when you go through diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith produces patience. It says, let faith, let patience have its work that you may be matured, entire, wanting nothing. You get to the office and they drop a sack letter and say your services are not needed. You don't just say, God, just kill me. Just kill me. No. That's not how God functions. When he saw darkness, 
the spirit of God did not run away from the darkness. He hovered around the face of the darkness. Look at that situation eyeball to eyeball. I won't run away from you. I'm tired of running away from the financial situation. I will not run away from the rent situation. When you run, you will live to fight another day. I face you with faith. I may not have a job now. I don't have an idea how I will come out of that financial situation. But I start by speaking. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead will raise me from death and bring me to a point of blessings. Start from there. Greater light. Kings reign by their words. It is their words that are penned down and become policies. Are we together now? I wake up in the morning, I'm speaking. I walk around, I'm speaking. In the name of Jesus, I am blessed. I'm blessed. I can hold me beyond, just, just below my breath. But I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm flying if I'm not sleeping. You would see me just mom, if I'm not praying in tongues and making declarations. As this plane is flying, that's how my destiny will fly too. I don't waste opportunities. No. The same way this plane could not be resisted. 35,000 feet above sea level. Leaving every mountain, every valley. That's how my destiny is following too. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I'm a well-watered garden. Well-watered garden. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well-watered garden. Koinonia, you go from glory to glory. It is your heritage in Christ. In the name of Jesus, our young men in Koinonia are gainfully employed. They are responsible people. Arm robbers are not being raised here. Touts are not being raised here. Responsible, visionary, kingdom-driven people. Our ladies are after the order of Esther. In the name of Jesus Christ, women with nobility and power, women with character and virtue, found it in the Bible. Where did you find this apostle? Genesis chapter 17 and verse 6. Genesis. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Kings shall come out of thee. So when you hear someone come to testify and say, I was an ordinary person, I now walk in UN. I sit back there and I said, that's right. The speaking is working. Kings, kings, kings. Hallelujah. You can transfer this same mentality as a mother. Lay hands on your children every day before they go to school. Let them learn it. Once they are done with breakfast, they line up. Let them remind you that you forgot to speak over their life. My son, you are great. Say after me, I'm a champion. Say after me, I'm a warrior. Speak to him before some, some ill-mannered young boy somewhere goes to destroy the confidence of your child in school. Especially in this day that we live in. Some bully gets up somewhere and rubbishes your child and he begins to fail. Say after me, boy, you are a champion. He says, I'm a champion. Say, I'm the head and not the tail. Before you know it, he begins to say, Mommy, you forgot to say this. I'm a champion. I'm the head and not the tail. If somebody tells him you are stupid, he will say, My mother did not say I'm stupid. She's told me I'm a champion. I'm a champion. I am victorious. Hallelujah. As a man of God, you may not be in ministry yet. Don't let some ignorant person look at you and just call you a riffraff. One young, all these young guys going nowhere. No, you are going somewhere. They may be sincere, but not everybody is serious. You may not yet have a platform. You may not yet have a ministry. But that is a mighty man in the spirit. You are being furnished from the, the fullness of affliction. But it does not mean you will not carry grace. Hallelujah. I will never repeat after Satan. Did you hear what I said? I will never repeat after Satan. He can say anything he says. But you will not get a second voice. Even in parliament, when they pass a policy, they say, who is there to second that policy? It cannot be passed into law until there is a secondment. Come on, talk to me, government people. Is that not true? 
So there are wonderful bills that they bring, but because they lack a secondment, it dies there. If Satan says you are a failure, make sure you realize there is a bill about to be passed over your destiny, but that you have the power to refuse, you have the power to reject. I function like Christ. I call the things that be not. I call the things that be not. I call the things that be not. Hallelujah. I have not spoken to politicians in a long time. Let me speak to them. Politician, if you lose election, don't say I'm finished. You are repeating after Satan. Your relevance should not be tied to just an electoral office. It should be tied to your value. Elected or otherwise, I am serving my grace to my nation. They, I become a lampstand that cannot be denied, regardless of the party or political affiliation. Do you believe this? Believe it. Believe it. Young lady, believe that you can prosper by God in righteousness. Don't just sit down waiting for somebody to marry you into a blessed life. That is wonderful. But by God, you can run through a troop. By your God, you can leap over a wall. Are we together now? Don't listen to nonsense that comes from society. Being a woman is not a cause. Being a female is not a cause. There is no female, female brain or male brain well biologically they have but spiritually as designed by god there are people championing all kinds of courses across the globe you can challenge yourself everybody say i will function like god by speaking say it by speaking consistent with the word say it again i will function like god by speaking consistent with the word Say it again, I will function like God by speaking consistent with the word. Don't forget what I taught you tonight. Never repeat after Satan. Never. Leave this place knowing. Make up your mind. I will never repeat after Satan. If he calls me a failure, that's the bill about to be passed. It dies there because there is no secondment. But if God says you are lifted, I echo it. Yes, I am lifted. Oh, let it be passed into law that I am lifted. That every human being who sees me, there is a bill on my life. I call it prophecy. God has said I'm lifted. I agree that I'm lifted. The wisdom that puts me in that experience becomes mine. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.